Greetings everyone and thank you for joining. We've already seen what a basic dynamic package does. Now we're going to take a look at what an advanced uh, dynamic package can do. So imagine, similar to the advanced dynamic schedule, that you actually needed to dynamically populate a report based on whatever key parameter values, or in other words, generate a unique report for each key parameter value. And then moreover, you need it to deliver, to be delivered to a specific email address or specific SharePoint unique to each recipient. What an advanced package will do is you now have the ability to combine more than one of those reports that share the same key parameter value and then do the same thing, deliver it to a unique email address. So here we go. First we'll name our package and then we will give it a description. And then add a keyword. Click next. We'll decide our destination and the timing when we want it to run. Let's run this every day. Now similar to a basic dynamic package, you would actually add all the reports that you need. Determine their format. And just keep selecting until you've gotten all the reports that you need to run. Please remember that all, that all of the reports that you want to put in this dynamic package will need to share the same parameter values. That way, when we're running the when we're running a unique report for each recipient, each report will be ran for that recipient and then attached in the email and sent to them. You yet still have the option to merge multiple PDF or Excel outputs into single PDF or Excel files respectively. And once you're happy with all the reports that you've added, click Next. Alright, again, similar to the basic package, we have to select the key parameter value that all of our reports share. So the key parameter that all our reports share is company name. In this particular case, we're not going to be populating the key parameter with static data. Rather, we want to populate that using data from a query. So that way, we're going to actually generate a unique report for each parameter value. For more detail on how to do the query and populating the information, make sure you take a look at the advanced dynamic schedule tutorial. Next we got to do linking. In this case we're not going to be sending these these reports to static addresses or static disk drives or anything like that. Rather we're going to send this to a changing list of recipients. Next we now need to compose our email of the path for the package. As usual, the to field isn't there, and we simply customize the message accordingly. For more information on how to do dynamic inserts and dynamic fields, please take a look at either of the uh, dynamic schedule tutorials. Once you're satisfied with your email, click OK. And then click Next. You can perform all the usual tasks when it comes to exception handling. You can learn more about that in the other tutorials. And you can perform custom tasks if necessary. Once I click finish, my schedule shows up. And if I right click on it, 
I can add a report to it if necessary if I've added new reports that share some common things that need to go to common individuals. I can execute it on demand and then I can even edit their properties. What we've done is we've created an advanced dynamic package that will generate a unique report for each of my individual crystal reports I've added to my package and then merge them together into a single PDF file and then deliver it to a specific user. This way the user now receives multiple reports customized specific for them that go directly to them. Well that's it for this advanced tutorial. Thank you very much for joining.